So now the question I'm positing you with is, can we make a, a simple amine just by using SN2 with like ammonia here? And uh, It looks really good on paper. I can do backside attack, kick off my good leaving group from my alkyl halide, and I'll end up with this lovely species here, which then will undergo proton transfer, get deprotonated, and voila, it looks beautiful. I've got my lovely amine. And the problem is, is that my product is on par, uh, uh, you know, somewhat similar reactivity to ammonia here. And so maybe this gets to react with an alkyl halide. And so now maybe I end up with this lovely species, which can also get deprotonated to this, but this thing is somewhat similar in reactivity uh, to my original ammonia as well. And so maybe he gets to react and things of this sort. Uh, and so maybe now we turn this into and again, he can undergo a proton transfer, get deprotonated giving us this guy, but then he could react as well, and we end up with a quaternary ammonium salt, or at least quaternary ammonium ion in this case, uh, and there's a problem, and so it turns out we've got a lovely equilibrium going all the way through, and so your solution's actually gonna contain all of these lovely species all the way through. And so if your goal is just to simply make like, you know, the simple primary amine we tried to make right here, you're probably not gonna be successful. Now, if your goal was to make the quaternary ammonium ion at the end, you could push, you know, pull that off by just simply using excess of the alkyl halide and by Le Chatelier's principle, just driving it all the way to completion. But trying to get any of the individual amines anywhere in the middle here, not gonna be a great idea. Now, I wanna focus again on this primary amine right here because we do have a way of pulling this off, just not through this simple SN2 kind of mechanism. Cool, and this method for creating these primary means is called the Gabriel synthesis. So, and it uses thalamide here, a little funky name with the little PHTH at the beginning, but thalamide. Uh, and thalamide's more acidic than a regular amide, it's an imide, uh, and we can deprotonate it with sodium, or in this case, sorry, potassium hydroxide. So, we're gonna come and just deprotonate this lovely species, break that bond. So and just get the conjugate base, nothing special. Cool, and then this conjugate base can actually come and do SN2 on an appropriate alkyl halide. And so we'll come and attack, kick off the leaving group, and we get this lovely intermediate right here. Uh, and from, from this stage, you're gonna either add barium hydroxide, some people will use hydrazine instead. I'm gonna go with the barium hydroxide. And what you have to realize here is that this is what, again, we call an imide, somewhat similar to an amide, uh, but it's a carboxylic acid uh, derivative on both sides. And when you ever you add hydroxide to any carboxylic acid derivative, you create carboxylates. And since it's a carboxylic acid derivative on both sides, you're gonna create a carboxylate on both sides. So, and you're going to eventually break these bonds right here. So essentially, you're gonna have a hydroxide ion coming in, doing nucleophilic acyl substitution. So, come and attack here, kick the electrons up, they'll come back down, you'll kick off the leaving group, it'll eventually get protonated, but just nucleophilic acyl substitution on both sides where there's carbonyls. Uh, and eventually, the leaving group that's gonna be kicked off is your desirable amine. And so in this case, the leaving group's actually the product we're after, that primary amine. Uh, so not just a normal, simple SN2 with like ammonia and stuff like that. This Gabriel synthesis uses thalamide to achieve the result here. But great way to get a primary amine uh, that avoids all the pitfalls of, of multiple reactions and multiple alkylations that we saw with just simply using ammonia.